This question is a joke if you know this one trick. Here is how it goes. f of c minus x is the reflection of f of x about the vertical line x equals c on 2. To explain why, I'm first going to show that reflecting any point on f of x gives a point on f of c minus x. So first of all, what does it even mean to do a reflection like this? Well, for example, if you had this point, which is h units to the right of c on 2, Reflecting it about x equals c on 2 would give this green point. To be more precise, it has to be h units but to the left of c on 2. So you could say the x coordinate of the new point is c on 2 minus h. Also notice that the height has not changed at all. Let this blue graph be f of x and consider the x value c on 2 plus h. So the value of the function there is just f of c on 2 plus h. Okay, now we're going to reflect this point about the vertical line x equals c on 2. And the reflected point will have x coordinate c on 2 minus h and the same y coordinate. Is this point on the graph of f of c minus x? Well, how do we check that? We just plug in the x value of this reflected point into f of c minus x. And then the corresponding y value is f of c on 2 plus h, which perfectly matches with the reflected point. And that means this point is indeed on f of c minus x. So no matter what point you choose to the right of c on 2 on the original graph, the reflected version of that point is on f of c minus x. And of course you can do the same thing but starting with a point on the left of c on 2. Okay, so the function value here is f of c on 2 minus h. And when you reflect this point, you get something like this. And now you can check this point is on f of c minus x by plugging in the x coordinate once again. And you see that the y coordinate perfectly matches. So this green point is on f of c minus x. So no matter what point on f of x you choose, the reflected version of that point is also on f of c minus x. Okay, so now let's do this with every single point on f of x. We can reflect all of these points about x equals c on 2, giving these green points as a result. And then all of these green points are on f of c minus x. So if you connect the dots, you see that this green graph has to be f of c minus x. And notice how it's just a blue graph but reflected. Keeping this in mind, let's quickly do this question. You no longer have to test a billion points. All you do is reflect the graph about x equals 1. And that would give you this. And there we go, we're done. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It doesn't hurt you at all, but it does help me.